This is the top 20 Commodore 64 games for April 1986 according to Gallup UK. Coming in there at 20 is Action Biker. This game you steer around Clumsy Colin on his motorbike in this yet another classic Commodore 64 game with a Rob Hubbard masterful Mastertronic Sitchin. One Man and Destroy. Originally made for the ZX Spectrum, and it only featured buzzer sound effects. It was ported to the Commodore 64 by Mastertronic, and was given the Rock Hubbard treatment. They Sold a Million, the first of three in the series of They Sold a Million compilation tapes. Daddy Thompson, Decathlon, Beachhead, Jet Set Willie, and Star for Carniff featured on this one. Now games 2. 5 games for the Commodore 64, Airwolf, Chucky Egg 2, Tai Na Nog, never heard of that one before, Cauldron and World Cup. Lord of the Rings. The follow up of the Commodore 64 very successful game The Hobbit it was based on Fellowship of the Ring. It didn't reach the critical acclaim of The Hobbit though. Kickstart. Test your skills as a biker on 16 different courses. It was called by Zap64 magazine the most impressive cheapo game they've ever seen. Desert Fox. Cunning foe who knows no fear. In the North African theatre of war during World War II, you finally reach your destination of Facing off against the Desert Fox, Rommel. This game features realistic voice simulation. V8. Return to the base immediately. The last V8. This is a difficult game. I've never really worked it out. The best feature of this game would have to be the Rob Hubbard Sid Town. A busy man follows it. Rambo. Now the best part of Rambo on the Commodore 64 game would have to be the fantastic SID sounds from Martin Galway. The title screen SID tune, fantastic. And that drum beat, when you enter your name, absolutely brilliant. Back to the future. Playing this game without instructions, a common problem in the 1980s, it takes a while to work out exactly what you got to do. Winter Game, a snow and ice themed follow up of Summer Games. It wasn't as exciting or successful as its predecessor, but it's still okay to play. The German DPJM index restricted the game Commando for sale in Germany. The great news, this 2005 has now been removed from the index and you can purchase it freely over the counter. Mercenary. After crash landing on a planet called Targ, where two races are at war, why not make a little bit of cash doing favours for both sides?
Coronas Rift. Along with the Edelon, Coronas Rift has won the two games in Lucasfilm's second wave, both took advantage of the fractal technology developed for rescue on Fractalus. Kane. When playing Kane as Marshall McGraw, you may notice that this law enforcer looks very familiar. Maybe he's the sprite from a possible mission? Maybe. Bounder. You control a tennis ball called Bounder across multiple scrolling screens. Bounder came with a free game called Metabolus. Edelon. This was Lucasfilm's most original release to date. Edelon is a craft powered by Mind Energy and is capable of propelling the user through the caverns of the game. Yeah, Kung Fu. The 664 title music is from the legendary Martin Galway. He also made the synth music for Rambo, Slap Fight, Green Beret, and Whizball. Rock and Wrestle. In the USA, Rock and Wrestle was known as Bop and Wrestle. Rock and Wrestle was the first wrestling game for a home computer. And at number one, Kung Fu Master. Thomas always wanted to be a Kung Fu superstar. And after years of training, he puts his skills into practice when Princess Priscilla is kidnapped. <laughs> 